Now we'll show you why a 100-ton boat floats and a 5-ounce stone sinks. And for that, we turn to Archimedes. He was a Greek mathematician and scientist who discovered the principles of buoyancy. In fact, he discovered them while he was in the bathtub. He was so excited that he jumped out of the tub naked, ran through the streets of Syracuse, Greece, shouting, Eureka! I've found it! Well, luckily for you, I don't do nudity. So instead of being in a bathtub, I've got something set up over here that'll show you what Archimedes was talking about. So instead of a bathtub, we've got a fish tank. Now what Archimedes said is that if you take an object and immerse it in a fluid, that object will be buoyed upward by a force equal to the amount of weight of the fluid displaced. Let's do it with a golf ball and a ping pong ball because they have about the same amount of volume. Golf ball goes in and sinks to the bottom because it's heavier than the amount of fluid it displaces. A ping pong ball, on the other hand, floats because it is lighter than the amount of fluid it displaces. The same principle applies for a boat. We'll use the SS Ziploc here. All you need to do is know the volume of the hull, and if the amount of water displaced by that volume is more than the weight of the boat, the boat will float. Let me show you mathematically how this works. Allow me to introduce you to the Sir Martin II. It is a 100-ton vessel. It's for sale, by the way, for a million bucks US in case you're interested. But based on Archimedes' principle, we can prove that this thing floats. All we have to do is do the math. So let's start with the fact that we know it's a 100-ton vessel. A ton, as you'll recall, weighs 2,000 pounds. That means the weight of this vessel is 200,000 pounds. Now we need to know how much water is displaced by the hull. So if we know the dimensions of the hull, 62 feet long, 14 feet wide, 10 feet high, by multiplying those together, we get the volume of the hull at 8,000. 680 cubic feet. Since we're in salt water, we need to know that salt water displaces 64 pounds per cubic foot. And by multiplying the 64 times the volume of the hull, we come up with the total displacement of the vessel, which is actually over half a million pounds. Now, Archimedes basically said, you put this 200,000 pound boat in the water and it will displace a water weight of half a million pounds, a little bit more than that. The fact that half a million exceeds the 200,000 means it is going to float. And that's how we know that this boat will float. Hopefully I've floated your boat too. I'm Ken Curtis. Thanks a lot for watching.